Hey, hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This predictive card reading covers August 24th, 25th, and 26th. Let's see what kind of energy influences are coming through for you for the weekend. As a general reading, please only take what resonates with you. If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel, and your every comment earns you an entry to win a free reading. Thank you for those beautiful validations. I'm so grateful for each and every one of them. Bless you guys. Click on the description box below for more information. On with your reading, Sagittarius. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the weekend. It's the basis of the energies. It's the background. What a great weekend to have. Maybe you get to spend some time in the sun. This is number 19 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Sun stands for radiance and optimism. Could be dealing with an Aries. This is clarity, and you're going to be attaining something. This stands for liberation, and it's also a marriage card. There's fulfillment and success for the future. You should let your light shine and do what feels good. There's going to be contentment and joy and a feeling of freedom. You're going to feel enthusiasm. You'll feel playful. This is a card of light, and you will benefit from sharing your true thoughts. And the outcome is yes. This is a gift from spirit, and it's going to unfold naturally. Your second card, this is the energy crossing over your path. This is what may challenge you. Number nine of cups. The nine of cups. Well, with it as a challenge, maybe a little overindulging, but it's not too bad there. This is the material wealth card. It's also the wish card. There's going to be great joy and happiness, and your dreams are going to come true. It's everything you want and hope for. There's satisfaction. This is a wish or a goal that's going to be realized. You're going to be happy and content and gratified, maybe indulging. But you had a desire and you held it, and you felt passion for it, and you never questioned your worthiness. Now you get to savor manifestation and emotional and material pleasures, and it's just a reminder not to be smug. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. In a major way, the seven, the chariot, a major arcana card. Number seven, the chariot. This is triumph and success. It stands for willpower and determination. This is swift action. There's going to be a positive and quick result. This is movement with planning. There's a clear path to victory. You're to stay the course and use control with your momentum. Take the middle road. This is also a travel card. You could have received a rise in status. This is that little extra push hard and you can fix anything, any trouble that arrives. You do have a clear sense of purpose and you're keeping things going in the right direction. You're using your self-conviction, and you're controlling competing forces. Sometimes this stands for your car or transportation. Your fourth card, this is the future. It's the outcome. It's the results. The Knight of Swords, air energy, could be a message. The Knight of Swords, this is also rapid energy right next to another rapid energy card. This could be a person. They might be overly aggressive. They could be a Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Or it's a message. Could be a message of some kind of mental conflict or differences of opinion. But you're to use diplomacy and honesty. Sometimes over-eagerness can create problems. Someone's being idealistic or competitive. Maybe fighting for a cause. Maybe someone's trying to win an argument or driving too fast. 
you're to listen before you charge in. There may be some rapid communications over emails or voicemails over the internet. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's what's unseen or underlying the issue. Number 11 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Justice. As I was shuffling the cards and this one came out, I'd been thinking about how Sagittarius is my rising sign and that that's probably why being an Aquarius sun and a Sagittarius rising, I'm so about truth. And as I'm thinking about the truth and how Sagittarius is love truth, out pops the Justice card. Another truth card. This is balance and legal matters. Could be dealing with a Libra. It's also karma. And justice will be done. Because balance is required. And lawsuits will be won. You're striving for truth and balance and trusting divine order. All you have to do is be just. And your hard work really does matter. So deliberate calmly and carefully before you take some action. Be cautious and careful. Make sure you rely on your inner self because divine justice cuts through illusions and picks out the facts. And you do have the ability to tell right from wrong. And it's just a reminder to keep your promises. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. Please subscribe and visit me for your next weekend reading. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments area. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so keep it positive. Love and light.